once again on this beautiful Sunday morning in the matchless name of the Lord our God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. In Christ we live and move and have our being. The entrance of the word of God bringeth life and giveth understanding to the simple. The word of God illumines our mind and brightens our path and secures our future. The word of God preserves us, sustains us, <clears throat> and order our steps, establish them. For the steps of the righteous are ordained by the Lord, made firm, sustained, established, ordained by the Lord. God has given us his word to reveal himself to us. To reveal his plan and purpose and will to us. So that we will not be like uh, once groping in the dark. But we walk in the light when we masticate and allow the word of God to percolate. And when we abide in the word. So the word of God stirs up the faith of God within us. Faith is a, res a supernatural response to the Word of God. The ability of God working and manifesting tangible, irrefutable results in our lives. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of his power, the things that were not visible to become the visible world we see, the cosmic world we see today. Nothing was existent that we see today. It took God to frame it by the word of his power and faith, declaration, establishment of all that he so spoke and became. <laughs> so the faith we operate, the faith endowed in us, the faith infused in us, the faith embedded in us, the faith percolated in us, the faith resident in us, is not the natural ability or the natural struggle or leap or positivity or optimism. It is a supernatural ability of God in us that responds to the supernatural life of God in us. So faith is spiritual. Faith is practical. Faith is not a figment of imagination. Faith is not a fantasy. Faith is not passive. Faith is not impractical but faith is pragmatic faith is real faith is practical faith is tangible faith is manifest faith is material faith is matter as much as it is spiritual so we have been on a series of faith a persistent consistent and flinching and fledgling and faltering, uncompromising, consistent, diligent, persistent faith that never fails. Because faith never fails. It is a supernatural ability to respond to the supernatural blessings or promise or word or glory, or power, or ability, or capacity of God. So we, 
when we exercise faith, in other words, the supernatural nature of God, the supernatural ability of God becomes a manifest reality in our lives so that nothing becomes impossible. For with God, nothing is impossible. And nothing is impossible with they that believe. If we can conceive it, we can attain it. I mean, can you imagine even the world can exercise mental capacity, mental power, mental ascent, and they can achieve impossible feats. But the faith that we're talking about here far supersedes the mental ascent. So you can imagine the kind of exploits God has reserved for us, or God intends for us, or God expects of us. The exploits, the kind of exploits. I mean, look at the life of Jesus and look at the manifestation of God even in the Old Testament. When he delivered the children of Israel from the Egyptian bondage, the Red Sea was parted. And they crossed there without a problem. When the uh, Egyptian armies came, they were drowned. The Lord was their pillar. At night, they were able to see visibly so that the jackals and the lions and the, uh, you know, hush and wild animals would not devour them. So they would have uh, visibility. So they were protected and kept warm from the wintry colds of the night. Likewise, also, during the day he was a cloud to protect them from the insulation of the sun. When there was no river for them to go fetch water to uh, drink, to shed their thirst, he simply tell, told uh, Moses, to speak to the rock and the waters would gush out as much as he didn't speak, of course, and rather smote in anger uh, the rock and God was angry with him and therefore he missed to, see, to land, to walk on the promised land. He only saw but could not walk on it. But at least the rock gushed out of the living waters, symbolic of Christ who is the rock of ages, out of uh, uh, the rock of ages. Salvation rings, salvation bells ring, praise God. And drawing uh, thy life from the wellsprings of life. Christ is the wellspring of life, of course. We all understand that. Come and, and buy without money, you know, and satiate thy thirst, quench thy thirst from the living waters, the waters of salvation coming from Calvary of Golgotha, the Christ, the rock. Jesus, the Messiah. And see, we see the demonstration of God. And God expected them to believe in Him, who was their strength, who was their shed at the right hand, who was their keeper, who was their sustenance, who preserved their lives, who fed them, clothed them, directed their paths, protected them, shielded them garrisoned and surrounded them, was merciful, was kind, was loving, was providing to them, praise God, and even fought their battles, or fought the battles on their state. God was all of that. He was their mother. He was their God. And later Hebrews tells us, there remained there for no rest for the children of Israel, for they mix not the promises of God, with faith. Many of them were disseminated, annihilated, and died in the wilderness for because they did not have faith or believe in the promise of God. They questioned the integrity of God. They doubted the faithfulness of God. They desecrated the sovereignty of God. Then they put the glory of God to shame. So God expects us to have faith. This faith is not natural. It is supernatural, praise God. The supernatural ability of God working inside of us 
to respond to his supernatural nature, his divine nature. And in that nature, of course, his exceeding glorious promises given to us, what? Is his power, his ability, is his glory, is his wisdom and knowledge and discretion and direction. All that God is, all that constitutes God, all that describes God, all that makes God to be who he is, for he is God by himself. He is omnipotent, he is omniscient, he is omnipresent. He is sovereign, he is perfect in excellence. He is perfect in his knowledge. He is perfect in all his ways. You can question his judgments. God is God all by himself. He was God before he created us in his own likeness and image. He was God before the mountains of old. He was God before the sea creatures. He was God before the fowls of the air. He was God before the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, the black holes, the planetary systems. He was God by himself, the self-existent and existing God. Besides him, there is none. Glory be to God who declares the future in the past. Who knows the end in the beginning. And who knows our frame, for he know it. We are a piece of clay. <laughs> but by his mercy and grace, we are the sheep of his pasture created in his likeness and image, endowed with his glory. A piece of dust, God inhaling his breath and becoming another speaking spirit, the God kind in nature, the supernatural ability and the nature of God endowed, packaged in us. So that now in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, we exemplify his glory. <laughs> Special, the aristocracy of the kingdom of God, the ox of righteousness, the envy of nations. Praise God. The head nor the tail above always never beneath. Lend us, not borrow us. And therefore, he calls upon us today to arise, why should we arise? To arise is to respond in faith. Your response is your this action. Something is ignited, praise God. So, irrespective of where we are, irrespective of what happens in our life, the faith of God swings the power of God into action. The ability of God into action. Praise God. God's ability, God's uh, supernatural nature, or God's glory, or God's power, working in our state, working on our behalf. Praise God. Working on our behalf. Working on our behalf. Therefore, we cannot be limited by circumstances or environmental suffocations. Or the elements of life. Or people's attitude towards us. Or the falterings of life, circumstances and situations. We are created in the likeness and the image of God. And we can only come to the fullness of that by exercising faith. Praise God. <laughs> so arise. And shine this morning. Shine. Faith will cause you to shine. Faith will cause you to be elevated. Faith will cause you to expand. Faith in God. Faith in God. The God kind of faith. Glory be to God in the highest place. Even though gross darkness has covered the nations of the earth. But the light of the glory of God has risen upon us. God's glory dwells in us. Tabernacles, abides, stays, dwells, 
resides or has residence in us. And therefore we exude the ability of God. I mean, men and women of old did exercise this faith. In the Old Testament, we call this pistis. They believed. We don't, we don't really call it faith, uh, but uh, they believed. It is one or, or the same thing, except that uh, now we have a different description in the New Testament called faith, but they believed from the word pistis, pistis, or pistil, to believe, to believe, to believe, to believe, to be persuaded beyond any reasonable doubt, beyond the shadow of doubt, to be persuaded. To believe, to have confidence, to trust, to obey, to grasp, to seize, to lock in, to have a grip. Praise God. That's what God is calling us unto, to have a grip on his word, on his promises. To seize moments. And lay hold of his exceeding glorious promises given to us. I am telling you there is no telling of the exploits that the Lord will want to express himself through our lives. The exemplification of the aristocracy of God. Precisely, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. So this day, arise in faith. And when you exercise the faith of God, you will shine. And when you will shine, the light of the glory of God will illuminate your environment and the gross darkness will be comprehended for the light of the glory of God is in thee. Darkness cannot comprehend the light of the glory of God in our lives. We are a people of exploits. We are a people of excellence. We are a people of power, people of glory, a people of uh, creativity, a people of relevance. We are the salt of the earth. Food is tasteless without salt. The light of the world. Darkness makes everything ugly or opaque or invisible. We can't be able to see. But we are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Jesus is the light. And that same light we carry. Praise God. So, God bless you. And just reflect on this. As we have been on the series of persistent faith. We talked about the widow. Who constantly, persistently was on, you know, was knocking the door of uh, the unrighteous judge. Until... Uh, he avenged her adversaries. And Jesus tells us, how much more will your heavenly Father hear your prayer and answer your prayer? Praise God. We saw blind by Timaus, the son of Timaus, by the wall of Jericho. When they told him to shut up, he cried out the more, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He was persistent and his eyes were restored, or rather his eyesight was restored. Praise God. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. The people who persisted, attained, achieved, manifested results. The people who are consistent and diligent and persistent, Never giving in, never giving up. They were at it, they were at it, they were at it, they were at it. Circumstances told them to give up, they were at it. People told them to give up, they were at it. Their mind even would whisper to them to give up, they were at it. Everything they would do sometimes would look like nothing would suffice, but they were at it until they break forth. God, when all is said and done, has ordained for us blessed be the Lord our God who leads us to triumphant procession always in his son Christ Jesus
in Christ we live and move and have our being. We are victorious. We are a success. We are victorious. We have testimonies. We are a people of exploits. We cannot be brought down. We cannot cringe. We cannot be suffocated. We cannot be limited. We cannot be um, uh, utterly, you know, trod on. God's grace is sufficient. So whether you're in a business right now, or film industry, or book writing, or acting, or, or preaching, or your parent at home, or you're an artist of whatever, you're an engineer, an astronaut, or uh, an agriculturalist, or a politician, whatever you may be, have faith in God. Faith persists. Faith never gives up. Faith is result-oriented. And God will be glorified. The Lord keep you and bless you. Re rejoice and be happy. Knowing that everything will be alright. He that began a good work in your life. Is faithful to bring it to fruition. God bless you. Love you all. Take care. I'll be back again in Jesus name. Kingdom aristocracy. Always a joy to bring to us. The word of life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.